Hey, what is going on guys? It's Delvidge and today I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to make a logo. This is a tutorial that a bunch of you requested in the comment sections of my previous videos and I'm finally pulling through today how to make a logo in Photoshop. I made a video on this about two years, two and a half years ago. It got about 50,000 views so I'm going to be making an updated one because I myself have definitely grown as a designer within that amount of time I mean how could you not and then of course new stuff with Photoshop new versions of Photoshop new features all that good stuff today we're gonna be making something like this if I open it up right now in Photoshop I threw this together in about 15 minutes so it doesn't take a whole lot of time guys so let's get straight into it so the first thing we need to go to is file new and I have a template set up for a logo so just copy these settings if you don't have them already width is 800 height is 800 and resolution is at 300 one thing I will mention is this is the logo dimensions for like social media stuff if you're planning on using this type of logo that we're creating today for different things other than just social media and regular stuff like that I would recommend that you upscale the resolution of the logo to much higher than 800 by 800 but for purposes of today you know for a YouTube logo for a Twitter logo whatever you'd want 800 by 800 is completely fine but once again if you plan on using this for something more than just social media guys definitely scale it up not 800 by 800 but we're gonna click create right here and we'll be granted a blank white square the first thing we're gonna do is create a new layer and delete the background layer I always do that for some reason I uh, just just what I do I'm sorry I'm gonna go to the gradient tool holding shift drag up and it will create a gradient for us. This is going to make working on this page a lot easier, makes things a lot easier to see, stuff like that. Creating a new layer above our gradient. And this is where we want to decide what we want the logo to look like. Now, depending on your YouTube channel name or your company name or whatever you'd want the logo to be, uh, that's what's going to determine this. So the first thing we need to do is go to the type tool or the text tool and choose a font. Now, you don't want a font that looks too simple and too bland. You want a font that's going to be really out there, but at the same time, recognizable for what you want it to be. So I will be right back and I'm going to find a font that looks good and fits those parameters. Okay guys, so I found a font. It is called Sui Generous. Gen yeah, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, but I'm going to be leaving a link in the description of this YouTube video right now. So check that if you want to download the font and follow along with me for the tutorial. If not, you can completely 100% choose whatever font you want. So without further ado, let's start. I'm just going to type S because that's what I used in the logo that I showed you before. If we go back to it, this is the same exact font that we used in that. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the rectangular marquee tool and select the entire page. Go to my move tool while the S layer is selected and click these two buttons in the center at the very top and that will center it into our image. Control D to deselect, Control T to transform, holding shift and alt, drag the corners up and it will scale it effectively. Click the check mark and OK. Now one thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is rasterize the text layer but before I do that I'm actually going to make it white uh, just to make it more easier to see. More easier, that's not proper grammar Delvish, what are you doing? Easier to see. Anyways, rasterize layer style and there we have it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create some guides. So press Control H on your keyboard to open up the guides. Drag from the top of your screen from this ruler area up top and align it with the top and bottom of the text. Same thing from the sides, drag from the sides and align it with the side of the text. The furthest outside, if that makes sense, so don't align it right here with this, align it with the furthest edge on the text, like so, and it should have a look like this. Now, depending on what font you have, it's going to look a bit different, but for the font that I'm using right now, it looks completely fine. Now that we have the guides ready to go, the next thing we're going to do is make this original, make it look cool. We don't want to be using a logo with a typeface generated text, like that's the worst thing you can do, right? That's not original at all. So all we have to do to make it original is play around with it with the pen tool or alternatively because this is a tutorial and I don't want to take up too much of your time. The polygonal lasso tool, I love this tool. I know a lot of people don't like this tool, they prefer the pen tool for more precision 
But for purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using the polygonal lasso tool. Zooming in, holding alt, and scrolling in with my scroll wheel. What we're going to do is create a new layer, and on this layer, we are going to be filling in these little gaps. So all you have to do is with the lasso tool selected, go to the edges, hold shift, and I'm getting a phone call. Yes, my phone's ringtone is Black Ops 2. I Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't expect a phone call in the middle of recording, but we're gonna get back to this. So just going along the edges here, and we're just gonna, you know, select these little edges and fill them in pressing Control and Backspace. And if it's a different color for you, all you have to do is make sure your foreground color is white. Really simple. Just make sure your foreground color is, is white like this right here at the bottom. And we're gonna continue doing that around all the edges. And my phone is going off again. I will be right back after we do all these edges. Okay guys, so we are back and I have done a few things to this logo to make it look a little bit better. The first thing I did was I went to the corners up top with the lasso tool, the polygon on lasso tool, and I just did this, I clicked and dragged, and I deleted the corner bits to make it look a bit better. And I did that for the top and the bottom, and because we have the guides added, it's gonna make it a so much simpler process. Another thing I did was add two guides to the center here, one right here if you can see that uh, turquoise line or teal line, and another one down here. Because I wanted to add this effect which actually makes it look really cool. So if you remember before, we had curves here in the center, right here and right here. Now all we have to do to do that is go and create a new layer above the layers we've just made. Go to the polygonal lasso tool, start from the edge right here, drag inward until you can finally get a box around this curved edge over here on the side. Go along the down edge at the bottom here and connect it back up top using the guides as a marker or a way to do it. Control backspace and it will create a box for us. Control D to deselect. I'm gonna change the color to a red just so we know what we're looking at. But now we can see what we're going to be deleting. Now just to make it a bit more even, I'm going to go to the move tool and drag it to the right a little bit like so, and then I'm gonna press control and I'm going to delete it on both these layers down here. All we have to do is drag it down using the move tool. All we have to do to get the exact same effect on the bottom as we did up top is press control and select the image on the layers, go to the layer below it, press delete, and go to the layer below that and press delete, and it should create the exact same effect as we did up top, and there we go. So the next thing we need to do is if we go back to our previous logo that I made here, I actually added a circle on the border. So in order to do this, all we have to do is create a separate layer above our logo, go to the Eclipse tool, and if you don't have that selected, all you have to do is right click and go to the Eclipse tool, holding shift, drag down to create a perfect circle. Whoa, my camera's going crazy. <laughs> That's all right. Rasterize that circle, press Control A on your keyboard to select the whole area, Go to the move tool and click these two uh, directional centering tools. I don't even know what to call them exactly, but they're at the very top of the page and they center the image uh, or the selected area. After we do that, we need to duplicate this twice, pressing Control J twice. I'm gonna add a gradient overlay to this top one. You can copy this overlay style if you'd like, but you don't need to. I'm gonna press Control T. Holding Shift and Alt, I'm gonna drag it inward a little bit. On the layer below it, I'm gonna double click, go to Gradient Overlay, and add a shiny effect on this one. And you can copy this if you'd like, but this is where you change the color if you really want to, but I'm just gonna go with silver because I think it looks good. Click OK, right click, copy layer style, paste it on the one below it, go to the Gradient Overlay, toggle the reverse, click OK, press Control T, at the very top corner, hold Shift and Alt and drag up. Or drag down if you'd like, but I'm going to drag up just because, why not? <laughs> and there we have the circle. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two circles together actually. There we go. I'm going to press Control on the top black layer, press Delete. So then when we hide the black layer, it only shows the edge of the circle. I'm gonna double click on it and add a few effects. You guys don't have to do this, um, but I'm gonna add some bevel, some inner inner bevel, not outer bevel, um, some inner shadow, toggle the opacity a bit, maybe turn up the size. 
uh, whatever looks good for you guys you can use whatever you want but that's just what I'm gonna do just some random effects to make it look a little bit different after that I'm gonna rasterize the top layer and add a color overlay with black at about I'd say 50% click OK rasterize layer style and now I'm gonna bring our logo above everything and as we can see it's starting to take shape now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to center it into our page just doing the exact same thing that we did before and then I'm gonna choose the rectangular marquee tool go to the edges here at the top press control T after we've selected and drag it until it reaches the edge of the circle I'm gonna do the exact same thing here at the bottom selecting an area press control T while the layer is selected and go until the edge of the circle is met the next thing we're gonna do is press control and click on the circle itself and then go back to our layer up top delete and it should delete it from the edge of the circle after that we're gonna to go to our black layer down here go to the magic wand tool and select the outside of the circle and then press delete and it should delete the edges of our logo inside the circle after all of that I'm going to add a gradient overlay to our text logo go to gradient overlay and do the exact same thing that we did before I'm actually gonna change the angle a little bit to better match there we go and now we can zoom out and that's basically the logo I'm gonna merge these three layers together holding shift selecting all of them and go to merge layers press control T holding shift you can get this rotate if you go to the very top and I'm gonna rotate it 15 degrees and there we have it now the last thing I'm gonna add is some color correction and you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I think it makes it look a little bit better this is the phase studios color correction volume 4 if I can find it I will leave a link to it in the description um, I believe it's four dollars and fifty cents but I'm not hundred percent sure uh, but I will leave a link to it if you are interested in getting this pack for yourself in the description but I'm gonna drag the color correction over to our logo and I'm just gonna choose a random one um, I don't know man that one turns it gold that looks pretty cool but I'm gonna actually go with this 21 right here okay we'll go, we'll go with color correction 21 and I'm gonna merge these two layers together after that I'm gonna go to the magnetic lasso tool and go around the edges here not even clicking my mouse I'm just gonna drag it around the edges here I'm doing this because the magic wand tool would not work here because there's so many different colors in the background behind our circle after we have the circle selected go to the rectangular marquee tool right click select inverse and then press delete on the logo layer and you have it completely finished so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment sections what you want to see from me in the future as far as tutorial stuff on my channel is concerned just let me know in the comment section I hope you guys enjoyed if you found this useful again make sure to smash that like button and until next time guys my name's Delvage and I'm out peace hi I'm recording a video <laughs> recording see the webcams on say hi to YouTube <laughs> No, I'm not live. I'm recording like it's recording.